welcome back to a new episode here in Suave. In today's episode, as you have seen in the title and the intro, I'm going to show you how you can make a slider. Actually, I'm going to show you two ways that you can make a slide transition using DaVinci Resolve. One of them is using an adjustment layer and one of them is using only the clips that you already have without adding any other things. So let me just get started right away. The first thing you're going to need is an adjustment clip. So we, here in the effects library, you go to effects and then adjustment clip. You drag it and let's make it one second long. Oop, we're going to cut it there. I'm going to try to put it right in the middle. So we're going to go 12 frames because this is a, uh, this is a 12, uh, 24 frames per second timeline, right? So I think that should be 12. Let's see. Yeah, that's tough. That's how you verify it. Okay, anyways. Uh, there. So here in our adjustment clip, we're going to click. You can right click and then open in Fusion or you can just click the Fusion tab here. But we're going to do this way. And then one weird thing that happens is that it shows up these weird numbers. But you only thing you need to take into account is this last number actually to see the frames. Um, so let's just go by default like that anyways. So I'm not sure why these numbers are showing up huge. I looked around and I was not able to find out how to change it. It sometimes happens in some time, sometimes it doesn't. So I'm not sure how or why that happens. So anyways, if you know, let me know down in the comments below. So here, once you have these, you're going to add a, you're going to see the where is the middle here. And we're going to add a transform node. So from the middle, what we're going to do is we're going to go six frames or seven. It doesn't really matter. It all depends on how long you want your transition to be. So we're going to go two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to create a position uh, keyframe. And then we're going to go to the middle again, the 12. And we're going to create uh, we're gonna go seek the same amount of frames forward. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and create the next one. So what is the deal here? Since we only have two keyframes, what we're gonna do is here, we're gonna put the X on the second keyframe. We're gonna do minus 1.5. And we're not seeing anything right now, right? Well, that is because of the edges here. What you want to do is you're going to go here to the edges and you can press wrap. If you do mirror, you have to um, do the exact number because every other one is going to be inverted. So it all, it's all up to you if you want to do a mirror or if you want to do a wrap. And then we can see how this looks. It doesn't really look that great yet, right? So what we want to do is First, we're going to go to the modifier, uh, not the modifiers, I'm sorry. We're going to go here to settings and we're going to add a motion blur and we're going to quality four and then you can add more or less blur here in the shot shutter angle. And then after that, we're going to go to the spline tool and we're going to make everything smooth by pressing F. And then we can press, we can move, press T and then we can move our play around with the ease out. I lower the ease out. So it sort of like starts right away. And yeah, so that is pretty much how you can do one. That is, it. that's it. There's all, there's obviously more complicated ones and more like that you can add more things to them, but this is a super basic slide transition that you can do. And that's the first method. And then here in your timeline, all you gotta do is um, just click, right click and render. If you have an issue playing it back, it's, Actually, just because of your GPU might be not powerful enough or anything, but it will render fine once it renders the whole clip outside uh, for the external video that you need. So what you one thing that you can do is if you want to see how it works in the playback is you can cut these portions here. You select everything and then right click and press make a new compound clip or control R alt Q. And then you can render this and that will allow you to see the playback um, without any issues. Like it will render it. You just got to make sure that here in the playback, it's in the render cache. 
user or smart so it renders when you tell it to render okay so then after that you should be able to play it fine in your playback screen so for the second method what are we gonna do here so we're gonna go and we're gonna make sure that we have let's say six again one two three four five six and we're gonna cut it here and do the same for the other side one two three four five six one thing that you need to make sure is that the first clip that you have it's longer or has any something that you can stretch it out or you just have to drag this over to the on the other clip right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a key from here for the position and then here at the end we can deactivate these by pressing the D so we are only seeing these lower one first and we're gonna make the position be minus 1920 which is gonna be the size of this thing here so of our screen so 1920 by 1080 and then we're gonna go to the top one we can activate it again we can press a position keyframe at the end and at the beginning so do the opposite of what I said there uh, and then at the first keyframe it's gonna be the same number that the first one had but in the positive section if you want to do it coming from the other side you're gonna do just the opposite so that is what we are seeing right now but it sort of like comes out way too quick this one right so what you need to make sure is that both of them are sort of showing on screen so if this one is already out before it the other one starts what you can do is you're gonna copy this number and you can erase this keyframe and then let's say we're gonna make it be ending right here when the other one's starting to come I think we're gonna put the position keyframe right there it's still a little bit too quick so what you can do is you can start it at the same time you can start the animation when the other one is coming in or you can just not animate the first one if you just want this first one to stay there, you can make this one just come in screen like that. Or you can make this one slide out by making it slide out as the other one is coming out. Oh, let me see here. And then minus 1920. There. It's a pretty fast transition because uh, because it's only a few frames. So, yeah. But those are two methods and actually three if you want to count one where you're not actually moving the, these uh, at all. You're just basically just dragging the other one that's on top here. So that is pretty much it. Those are two, maybe three ways that you can create a slight transition in DaVinci Resolve. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and comment down below. And also, I have to mention this since this week was a bunch of transition stuff. Uh, and then there's the freebie Wednesday, which was a free zoom transition. You can check that video down below or somewhere around on screen. And also you can check our transitions pack packs that we did, which are the motion graphics transitions pack and the uh, full one over 100 transitions pack, which includes transitions of this style at like slide, zoom, um, dented version, dent. Uh, and then a bunch of other ones. I can't remember all the categories. There's nine of them. But anyways, that is pretty much it for this video. And I hope that you have a nice weekend, a nice Friday. And if today is not Friday when you're seeing this, I still hope that you have a nice day. And one thing that I want is to see you here in the next video here in Swabi.